Welcome or welcome back on any help at uh, C square. In this example, we have a quadrilateral A, B, C, and D. This quadrilateral um, is defined by two linear equations. Uh, the segment AD is defined by y equals negative 2x, and x it goes from negative 1 to 0, and B, C, the, the other uh, segment. Uh, is represented by this equation y equals negative 2x plus 4 and uh, x goes from 0 to 1. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to use these two equations uh, y equals negative 2x and y equals negative 2x plus 4 and I'm going to identify these points, uh, the ending points of the segment AD and BC. And I'm going to start to weigh D, and for finding, for example, the point A, I'm going to use uh, this x of negative 1, and I'm going to plug in, in this equation, and I'm going to have negative 2 times negative 1, and that is positive 2. So the point A is negative 1 and 2. And that means uh, 1 left, 2 up, this is the point A. Uh, now we're going to go to point D, which is given by the coordinate of uh, 0, if you notice that. So x equals 0, so we're going to have y equals negative 2 times 0, and that will be 0. So the point D, the other end point of the segment AD, will be 0 and 0, which is the origin. Similar, we're going to do with the other two endpoints, B and C. For point B, uh, like I said, I'm going to use this equation, y equals negative 2x plus 4, and the x is this 0. So y will be negative 2 times 0 plus 4, which is going to be nothing else than 4. So we have the point B, which has the coordinate 0 and 4, and that means it's going to be right here stay right there at the origin and went go uh, up four units and uh, the last point of this quadrilateral is going to be point c where the x coordinate is this one and we have y equals negative 2 times 1 plus 4 and that will be uh, negative 2 times 1 negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2 so the point c will have the coordinates 1 and 2, which is going to be right here. So now we have all these four points. We just connect them. And that is part A, where we are asked to uh, graph the figure represented by this information. OK, and now we can go to part B. Or we are asked to describe what kind of quadrilateral we have. Now, you notice here I have a similar picture of the previous one. Uh, however, you can notice these are the equation of the two lines I, I talk about, these two lines. And you can approach the uh, graphing the polynomial using this method if you like. Uh, but again, we just need this. Uh, Quadrilateral, and they, now they ask us to describe this quadrilateral. What kind of quadrilateral we have here? Parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, square. And obviously, if we if we look to these guys, it looks like we have a parallelogram or a rhombus, right? And in fact, if you if you take a look, the slope of this line is negative two. The slope of this line is negative two. Uh, so which represent the slope of these segments, right? So that means those two segments are parallel segments. So I'm going to write here the slope of AD, which is given by this equation, is negative 2. The slope of BC, which is given by this equation, is uh, also negative 2. That means AD and BC are parallel segment because they have the same slope. 
But now let's take a look to the other two segments. And uh, those are uh, AB. Okay, so you notice here I'm going to draw this triangle. The rise is 2 and the run is 1. So the slope of AB is 2 over 1 and it goes up from left to right. So it's going to be just 2. And also if we take a look to the last segment, DC, we see the same run of 1 and the same rise of 2. So we end up with the same slope. So similar with the previous point, we know uh, the previous part, we know AB is parallel with DC. Okay, and looking to these two statements, we know now ABCD is at least a parallelogram. But of course, now we may want to look and see hey, is this uh, rhombus? Obviously, we can see it's not a square, and by the way, it's not a square because if you take a look at the slope. Any two of these slopes are not negative reciprocal, right? So, and I picked two, uh, A, B, and B, C. Those are two consecutive sides. You notice they are not negative reciprocal. That means they are not perpendicular. So this is not a, a rectangle or a square. But, however, if you take a look, all these four triangles you see now have the same... Uh, length, the legs have the same length and all of them are right triangle, which means I can find any of these four sides, let's say AB. AB will be the hypotenuse in this triangle, right? And AB square will be 2 square plus 1 square. If we use Pythagorean theorem, which means 4 plus 1 which means 5. So AB squared is 5, which means AB will be square root of 5. Similar, you can find the other segments uh, if you want BC, DC, and AD, and you notice all of them are square root of 5. So we have AB equals with BC equal with DC equals with AD, and they are square root of 5. So the parallelogram, which has all sides congruent, in fact, is a rhombus. So this is the best way to describe uh, this uh, quadrilateral ABCD. And we have also a part C on this problem. Find the area of the quadrilateral. Remember, this quadrilateral is a rhombus. And on rhombus, we have a very good formula to uh, see if this is a rhombus. You notice I'm drawing the diagonal AC, which is 2. I'm drawing the diagonal BD, which is 4. The area of a rhombus is nothing else than 1 half times the product of the diagonals. And I call them D1, D sub 1, and D sub 2. And in this case, we have 1 half times, let's say D sub 1 is the diagonal AC, which is 2, and D sub 2 is diagonal BD, which is 4. So we can simplify here, and we have 1 times 4, which is 4. The area of this quadrilateral we see here is 4 square units. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C square for more help. Thank you.